Warning, this show contains graphic images and content. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, horror fans, and welcome to episode 13 of The Only Genre. The spookiest of only genres. <laughs> I'm Sean Vidmar. I'm Danny Beckler. That's it? I didn't think of anything this time. Yeah. Jesus Christ. This guy. I, I bring him on the show for one reason, one reason really only. For a hopefully intelligent discussion with a little bit of comedy and... What I'm do not I get? intelligent. What are you talking about? You are. Fairly. Off camera. <laughs> the show, uh, we wanted to say congratulations to our friend Shane, Sh Shane McKenzie, and also Lutra Gore Productions. Um, we actually mentioned a, I forget what episode, 9 I believe, uh, M is for Manador. Between 1 and 12, we mentioned. <laughs> well anyway, M is for Manador, um, it actually didn't win, but it appears that it's actually been selected for ABCs of Death 1.5. And it will be on a DVD release, and it will be in select um, Alamo Draft House theaters. And the thing is, it's I'm guessing in Texas. It's <laughs> it's 26 out of like 540 or so entries. So nice Shane job, actually got uh, actually got picked for this. So congratulations again to Shane McKenzie and also Lutra Gore Productions. And one more announcement. Uh, I am finally making a movie myself. It's a porn. <laughs> no, it is a zombie movie actually. Myself, zombie dildos, and also my buddy. <laughs> uh, That's the title, zombie dildos. Sean Bland are actually uh, writing the script as of right now. We have a small crew. Here is one of the members. I'm the only music. the only genres own. Yes. <laughs> the only own <laughs> the only the only genres own Danny Meckler is actually helping out with a lot of the music and started a little bit already. It's going probably to you're probably gonna be doing a lot more because yeah. we're pretty low budget. But anyway, um we're so we're like paid. We're uh fuck no. <laughs> Don't even act like you <laughs> <laughs> So um we're basically trying to finalize a, a script right now. And we plan on actually start filming the spring of this year. So we're going to be doing some behind the scenes for you guys, maybe some um, special effects and even uh, visual effects kind of how-tos throughout uh, more episodes in the future. So look for that. But right now, we're going to do our only picks of 2013. So it's time for our only picks of 2013. Our only movie is actually Maniac. And holy crap, if you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. Go watch it. No, seriously. Um, well, he, he just gonna... watched like two trailers of it just recently. And I have a boner already. Elijah Wood is so creepy. It's a lot of first person camera views, which is really cool. Well, um, okay. When I watched it, of course, I took notes and it's all right here, jumbled on little uh, quelf. <laughs> yeah, cool. I, I grabbed like the Guelph like uh, whatever pamphlets that you would write, draw on. Did stuff. you have to repeat yourself after and writing it? No, no, I didn't do that. But seriously, like nine minutes into the movie, like something gory already happened. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it was just uh, I I couldn't stop watching. And he is so creepy. Elijah Wood's character is so creepy and. The nice silhouette shots of like the city when it's at night. It's like this beautiful meets like this very dark part of the city and it's very violent. There's even like a kill that I loved. This certain kill it was in a, um, a, like a parking lot. I actually said something to him. Mm -hmm. But when he actually does his kill, it does the whole first person 
and then the camera actually kind of it's like he has like that out of body experience yeah. where all of a sudden the camera moves and floats all the way around to actually showing him doing it so you go through this movie feeling like because he actually does have like the split personality type thing so you almost feel like you're that mm. that good portion of him yeah and you are watching him do this and you have no control so oh, I can't wait. it has this like really creepy like I don't know. It's a disturbing vibe all in itself, but it actually takes away the factor of you not knowing who the killer is, number one, because it's all in his perspective. So you already Spoiler, know. we ruined it. You it's already him. know that, I mean, he's killing everybody. So there is no, like, jump out and, you know, attack someone. So it's none of those, but it still has that vibe to where. I like when the main character is the killer. I, th I love this movie. Everything about this movie. Even check out the uh, one of the posters that I showed him. This retro poster. The whole movie, movie has posters. like it has almost the uh, the eighties vibe, like how the original. Since so it's based was. on an eighties movie, so you should definitely check out the original. Also, the only video game pick of two thousand thirteen is The Last of Us. As no surprise to anybody, since we talk about this all the time. Yeah. We've pretty much touched base on all of our uh, our tops on the show before. This small. one. Uh, to be honest, I think we've actually mentioned on two separate, probably every episode. It, I don't know what it is about this game. Um, I've actually played it twice all the way through. It's just so emotional. Uh, I absolutely love this game, and I have a spoiler for for this game. Okay, for any of our yes. listeners watching that haven't, um, <laughs> if you haven't played it though, yeah, is, I mean, you should be watching this. He doesn't even have a PlayStation. He's played it. Yeah, I had so, to borrow his. <laughs> so we'll play it. So at the towards the end in the third in winter at the very end of winter, yes. you know when um, um, winter actually. David is it David? The uh, the guy that yeah I think his name is David. Okay, so I took it at the, at the very end when he's like about to kill Ellie. I took that as oh he was just trying to kill me like when she's all, all emotional at, at the end of it where she's like he was he was he was turns out. Um, the voice actor who did David was, like, very clear that, oh, yeah, he was going to rape her. Oh, wow. This is something yeah. I didn't know. He was going to rape her. So that made it way creepier. Wow. Now I'm Cause pretty that's excited like about what happens. That's a 13-year-old girl. I'm pretty excited about what happens to him. Then. That is my favorite. Don't worry, we'll show you the clip. Favorite thing in that game. Actually, um, I like the whole one. Winter was amazing, because you mostly play as Ellie. As Ellie. It, it was, she, and she's a badass. It's probably gonna hit shelves with like the you know hey mm. the, you know twenty dollar bin where it's like the uh, what do they have like the platinum games? Or yeah, it's worth game. way more than that, but it's it's so it's good. ridiculous. It's my personal pick of the year for everything. For everything, mm -hmm. <laughs> parent of the year. <laughs> <laughs> but our. Uh, only pick for a television series is the following. Holy shit, the following. Kevin Bacon. That, I, actually, that's enough said. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. Kevin Bacon is in it. Then I'm going to show you random clips, and then we're going to go right to our number one comic. We are done. The only pick for comics is Afterlife with Archie, starring the Archie gang. <laughs> we actually just spoke about this episode 10. Awesome episode. We pretty much touched base on Afterlife with Archie already. Of course, zombies are in it. Um, you can Watch look the it motion up. comic. Yeah, the My motion God. comic. Because you saw what I did when I did yes. the editing and stuff. It, doesn't that look amazing? It looks so great. I am absolutely in love with this, and I hate myself for the fact that I actually have not read, it's okay. read a whole... I hate you too. <laughs> I haven't read even like the first comic yet, but I definitely will. Soon, in 2014. But anyway, that's the uh, the end of our show. Um, go ahead and leave us a comment about maybe you think a different movie should be picked or a game or different a comic, anything. Co-host. <laughs> <laughs> I like my co-host. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but me. I mean, no, yeah, I know that. You're I'm great. awesome. Um, but uh, anyway, so leave us a comment. Um, even to bitch us out and be like, a maniac wasn't that good, or The Last of Us, please don't actually bitch about The Last of Us. Cause you we'll can't. Probably, it's impossible. We'll, like, not be friends with you. 
yeah. But, um, of course, find us on, and, yeah, I'm going to redo that one. We were doing on, good. <laughs> we were doing good there. I was doing good on this one. <laughs> find us on Facebook. Um, Jesus Christ! Let's start again. And down. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, and we're not like to. actually like being our phones. <laughs> the mine was already on. <laughs> our number one pick, our pick, our only pick for the the only the films. movie <laughs> for films. For 2013 is Maniac. I said that in three words, what you said in like 40. Did you? The only movie. <laughs> All right, fine. We're going to start over now. <laughs> We're starting over. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Why are you doing that? Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. And we can wow. be together. Um, we've actually spoken about this. One. Well, we've pretty much talked Bunch about everything. Smalley. Smalley? Smalley. 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 <laughs> she <-mails. laughs> Smalley. <laughs> we've talked about this one a little <laughs> What? <bit. laughs> no, anyway. Thank you for watching, and thank you very much for consuming our brains.